Chapter 3 Habits That God Wants You to Quit Right Now 1. Quit Worrying and Trust God Completely Worrying is a natural human tendency, but it can become a habit that undermines our faith and trust in God. The Bible encourages us to cast our anxieties on the Lord, for He cares deeply for us. As Matthew 6.34 reminds us, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Worrying distracts us from the peace that God promises. It is a habit that suggests we do not trust in God's provision and sovereignty over our lives. Instead of worrying, God invites us to place our trust fully in Him. Philippians 4, 6-7 provides a beautiful directive. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When we trust in God's plan and relinquish our worries, we open our hearts to His peace and allow our faith to grow stronger. It is through this trust that we experience the fullness of God's love and care, reassuring us that He is in control and that His plans for us are good. 2. Quit harboring unforgiveness and embrace forgiveness. Harboring unforgiveness is a habit that can poison our hearts and hinder our relationship with God. The Bible teaches us the importance of forgiveness, highlighting that just as we have been forgiven by God, we are to forgive others. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Unforgiveness creates a barrier to spiritual growth and can lead to bitterness, resentment, and a hardened heart. Jesus emphasized the significance of forgiveness in Matthew 6, 14, 15. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Choosing to forgive is a powerful act of obedience and love. It frees us from the chains of past hurts and allows us to experience the healing and restoration that God desires for us. By letting go of grudges and extending grace to others, we reflect the nature of Christ and foster a spirit of unity and peace. 3. Quit complaining and cultivate a heart of gratitude. Complaining is a habit that can cloud our perspective and keep us from recognizing the blessings in our lives. It often stems from a lack of contentment and an attitude of entitlement. However, the Bible calls us to cultivate a heart of gratitude and to give thanks in all circumstances. Philippians 2 14 15 urges us do everything without grumbling or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. Complaining not only reflects a negative outlook, but also diminishes our ability to appreciate the goodness of God. In contrast, gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have been blessed with. 1 Thessalonians 5 16, 18 encourages us, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. By cultivating a heart of gratitude, we acknowledge God's sovereignty and provision in our lives. This habit leads to greater joy, contentment, and a deeper awareness of His presence and blessings. It enables us to approach each day with a positive attitude, recognizing that every moment is an opportunity to witness God's grace and love. May this journey lead you to a deeper faith, greater joy, and a more profound experience of God's unending love and faithfulness. Thanks for watching. Share this video with your friends and family.